Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Now her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. What? He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. They're watching. She's getting closer. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. Why doesn't she tell me? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. Are you coming? Shh. Quiet. Oh, how rude of me. I never told you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them over there? Why isn't she looking? <laughs> Why aren't you looking? She's an ally. Look, up ahead. You see it too? You promised you can Yes. It is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. The place the Northmen call hell. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. They can feel you. You might I think she's brave to go on this journey on her own. But it isn't bravery that drives her. 
bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Said it was fear runs far, far deeper. looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. There's no going back. You can't do it. And who pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Your eyes. Look, look, Come on, Losa. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell. And your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there. Go. across which lies the halls of hell, the place they call Helheim. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? 
Why doesn't she turn back? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's already dead. He's dead. But his soul is in Helheim. His soul still lives. The bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. Sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim, and that is where you must travel. again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. Focus. I can see one. Hold it in your mind's eye. Find one like it to open the gate. She needs to look closer. Focus. Through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Well, I think it works. I spent six 
years and slaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listened? When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Another voice joins us. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are always here. is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed, and with her you must bargain. Oh, <gasps> 
vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. Hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. He's not my Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire, Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. To Dillian, to his soul. It won't open. How will she get through? Why won't it open? Why can't she open it? She needs to challenge the gods. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods? Two, two gates. gates. Yes. Why can't she choose first? One of them will kill her, I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to die. Uh -oh. Which one will she challenge first? Be very careful, Senor. Choose a gate, Senor. Two gates, two gods. She's too scared. Which one? Valraven, ancestor of the seers and master of ravens. He hunts his prey with his powers of illusion and feasts on their remains. and defeat him in battle to earn his mark. The gate to Helheim cannot be opened without it. his sons and grandsons were dark after him. Of his daughters and granddaughters, some were monstrous, but others fair. But there was another who came from the ice. Buri. In shape, he was like a man, big and powerful. His son. the path to Valraven. Don't trust your eyes. Find another way to see the truth.
What's that? It's a door. No. It's a bridge. No, it's not. Push it. Push it. Push it. What do you think will happen? Come on. You idiot. Come on. Push it. She did it. She did it. She did it. again and pretend what we saw was never really there.
break the seal. Align the ravens with the mark of Valraven.
native land, living off berries, fruits, and rabbits. It's not uncommon, you see. We call such a person a gout. Some, like truth, become gout in search of penance. Others, like Senua, the perch curse. Those who make it back are forever changed.
think of a shadow in the woods. A creature in the night. If only it were that simple. The worst kind comes without warning. A deep and primal signal from within. A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir, and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, with his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel, and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, they used Ymir's great curving eyebrows as walls. Do you know what it's like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones, to head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. So no one does. Because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home in the first place. He hung himself from the world tree, and he stabbed himself with a spear, and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink, and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree.
the song. Val Raven. Val Raven's song. It's over here. It's over here. Is that? It's over there. It's here. There's two. Listen, focus. Listen, focus. 